everybody. I hope you're all having a lovely day. Now, this is going to be a slightly complex one because everybody's asked me to do a Christmas present haul. They wanted to know what Bert and Lacey and Alfie got for Christmas. Well, I can't do Alfie's because for the simple reason that Alfie got a, a VTEC Rock and Ride and Learn pony. And it's in bits. <laughs> It came in pieces and I can't put it together without help and at the moment everybody's um, busy and I can't get someone to come and help me. So as soon as I've put it together you can see Alfie riding on it and he's going to look so cute. Um, it's got handles and it's got little foot stirrups and I do think that Alfie will be able to sit on it without me having to hold him which will be kind of really cool. So I do think that he will be able to sit on it without me having to hold him on it, which if, if I have to hold him, I'll hold him. That's fine. But it will look cute with, on videos and pictures. Um, and I think Brooke can probably do it too. She might have to have me hold her, but we'll see. But I will show you now everything that um, Bert and Lacey got for Christmas. Lacey got the most, obviously, um, because Daddy and Lacey and yeah, you all know that. Don't. Don't they, Lacey? <laughs> Lacey's just sitting here, um, and she's just by me. And I know she's been in that sweatshirt for weeks. Um, please excuse me. It's really hard to change her, um, and especially without some help. And we've been so busy that there hasn't been time for me to say, actually, can you help me change Lacey? So I will change her very soon, I promise. Right, let's, let's uh, do this, and we'll start with present number one. All right. Present number one, isn't this just the most adorable ragdoll you've ever seen in your life? Now, if you were hearing the last Lacey story before Christmas, you will hear that Lacey went to Lapland with Bert and B and I. And she went to see Father Christmas in Santa's village. And you will hear at the end of the scene where she meets Santa that Santa gives her a present. Well, this is what Santa gave her. And it is handmade. It's very beautiful. The ragdoll has a light, light brown face and sort of flaxen cream wool pigtails with, I think they're pink bows. Are they pink bows? Um, in them, bows in them. And a little um, light fringe or bangs, as the Americans would call her, across her eyes. I don't know what colour her eyes are. It's not something I thought to ask. Um, She's wearing a pink pinafore over a white dress with pink flowers with yellow centers and big pink clog shoes. She's the most gorgeous ha handmade rag doll I've ever seen. And Lacey is absolutely mad about her. Lacey, she, she likes dolls, but she's not doll mad. Um, she wanted dolls, but once she gets them, she plays with them for a bit and then she just puts them down. It's other things that she doesn't let out of her sight. We had to take two things off her to get to do this video and she's still not really happy about it. She's still a bit sulky. So, do you want to hold on to that just for a bit until you get you know who and you know who back? There you go. You hold on to her. It's funny because she calls the doll, I don't know why she gave it a German name, she, we, we, we asked what she wanted to call it and she heard the name Lotchen somewhere and it's like little Lottie and somebody's just named their baby Lottie, um, who, we know who's named their baby um, Lottie, isn't it, um, Suzanne from Baby Bunting's Nursery. Um, Lacey calls the ragdoll Lotchen. <laughs> so hold Lotchen and don't let it ever skew your face <laughs> while we look at the other presents. Let's look at the next one. Okay. Gracie got, oh, um, Lacey got, got Gracie from her auntie Amy. She's determined to upstage me. This is one of the little live busy bubs and Lacey has been going on about this one for ages don't fall over babes there we go she's not very steady on my lap and this is what she does she is 
rather cute, I have to admit. Just look at that. <laughs> She's so cute. Do you want some bottle? Can you see? Okay. Got some? You have to press it quite firmly into her mouth and she'll drink it. Okay. Right, that isn't always what she does. You have to watch out. And she has a little tiny dummy too. Really small. Not for thick. Whoa! Don't do that. That scared me. <laughs> She's jumping in my hand. Now, if you give her her... Oh yes, I can tickle. I can tickle. You have to press this little tiny button. Is it this one, Lacey? I think it is. Oh, she's giggling. There we are. So she's very cute. Let's put her to bounce in her crib again. Is that right? Mm -hmm. You see her? There we go. She's very cute. There are several of these busy bubs. And Auntie Amy was very kind to get this for Lacey. She should be going on and on and on about it. <laughs> right, let's put you down and take you to sleep in your crib again. She's very, very cute. She's cute, actually. It's a lovely present. So let's look at what else she got. Okay, this is a bit informative, isn't it? A bag. Now, these Ziploc bags, um, gallon Ziploc bags, are so useful because Lacey has a lot of loose toys. And if I kept them in the boxes they came in, I'd have no room to store anything in Lacey's toy box. So I take them out and put them in Ziplocs and it just saves so much space. But she wanted horses that looked like ones in the world. So I didn't think I could do any better than these. I've got the Schleich horses. Can you see? I don't know which is which, but I got an Arab stallion, an Arab mare, an Appaloosa stallion, and an Appaloosa mare. So I'll just show you. This one, there's a rug with one of the sets I got, so it's rugged up. Let me just take the rug off. I'll put it back on, Lacey, don't worry. There we go. That's the one. That's another one. I'm going to get someone to look at these. They've got little tags on them. And I can put a Braille Dymo label on the tags so I can tell which is which. I like that one. That one's a nice, I like the way it holds its head. And I like its nice flowing mane. And finally, I like that one too. That's got a nice kind of lean shape and a nice flowy mane. I love its tail too. So I got four. I always dreamed of having Arabs when I was little. Let's put them back in. Oops. And I also got, one of the reins fell out with me. I also got um, a set of tack and a rider. And the rider really does ride and stay on. And I got a feeding set and I got a grooming kit. So Lacey and I had a lot of fun over the over the <laughs> over the week. Um, I got a tr sort of a flat tray that they would stand properly on, and we tacked up the horse and fed it and did all kinds of junk with it. It was cool. <laughs> now I can never get these to zip back up properly. I'm not going to try and do it on camera when you're watching me. But that's the start of a nice collection of Schleichs, and they're not very expensive. It's actually better to get them on the Schleich website than on Amazon. They're dearer on Amazon. But I found the British Schleich website, and I can get more for her over time. So that was a, a nice, good part of her present from us. Let's see what else she got. Now, I don't know if you are followers of Lacey, but if you are, you might have heard that a story called The Best Day when she rode a pretend horse that she'd made out of a plastic cup and she called her Chloe. Well, the reason she called her Chloe was because she'd seen on a channel called Honey Heart Sea, which is a 
horsey for little girly kind of channel um, that there was this horse called Chloe care for me and she was very taken with this horse but she only thought you could get it in America like a lot of toys actually that don't come over the pond well daddies can do magic and Lacey got Chloe care for me for Christmas it's a horse from Briar actually which is one of the big model horse makes I don't think they're as good as Schleich actually um, but we got Chloe care for me for her for Christmas now the thing with Chloe care for me it's a, a little pinto mare it has a, a, a soft plush body that you can groom it has a groomable mane and tail the problem I have with this is that the mane and tail really are too long that mane is so long that she could tread on it now any horse's mane isn't that long and neither is the tail but hey you know for little kids it's nice to have a stylable mane and tail the legs I think are too short they wouldn't support a real horse's body but there you go I am surprised really that that Briar made a horse that's really not very accurate in detail even a cuddly one but I'm just being picky she's nice and soft Lacey hasn't put her down now we haven't got batteries in this because like every other parent before us we forgot to buy the proper batteries and it's three triple A's but there are accessories that come with this and I'll show you what they are there's a little stethoscope and it does this which is quite cool and there's a little I don't know there's grooming things that's a dandy brush and that's body brush I think that's the way around they go <laughs> and the other thing I can't find oh there it is there's a syringe and if you hit that with Chloe with that in the right place she will neigh if you brush her the, the, her forelock it is there's a little sand patch here she will sort of sigh and when you pick her hoof her front hoof she will swish her tail don't like that <laughs> and there's a cute little there's a little light here that you can shine into her ear I don't know whether you can see in this but there it is and I can actually see that it's so bright I can actually see that in certain lights so some cool vet things and I was seeing on reviews people saying oh they're not made sturdily enough Bleh. well I think they're made pretty sturdily I have to say unless you were being very rough with them they are made quite sturdily it's quite sturdy plastic so I was actually quite I was prepared for to attack and I was actually quite impressed with those so there are all the vet things that come with Chloe and Chloe herself is very soft and um, Lacey has not put her down have you sweetheart there's Chloe back let's move Lotion out of the way give you Chloe back um, which arm do you want her in that arm okay there she is there's Chloe um, okay I haven't put her in the right way so, oh how do you want her want her that way that's so she's standing up properly and I've messed her mane up oh Lacey darling there we go is that better is she gonna be okay now sorry Chloe okay. there we are can you see auntie Rhea there we go that's better right madam satisfied we can look at I think Lacey's last best most of a hit present right so I'm hiding it you can't see it at the moment I want you to be surprised by this so anyone who knows about Lacey um, who follows the stories knows the Bert tells her these marvelous stories and he makes up characters and then he keeps the characters of the stories going and tells her more stories featuring the same characters well earlier this year she was absolutely beguiled by an Edward Lear poem called Mr. and Mrs. Spicky Sparrow and um, the poem itself I've linked to it in various stories that I put up so I took the original Edward Lear characters and I wrote stories that for Bert to tell her um, concerning the Spickies and their children. The Spickies were Edward Lear's, the, the children were mine. Um, and then I made up this story. 
it's called uh, the story of Fat Flu. And I made up this doctor character called Dr. Banty, uh, a bantam rooster, a little bantam rooster. And he was a great comic character. And Lacey took to him. She loved him. Shut up, iPhone, please. Um, Lacey took to him. Lacey loved him. So she kept, uh, ever, more than she, lots of people kept asking, we want more Dr. Banty. Can you please make, make another story with Dr. Banty? So a couple of weeks before Christmas, I did another Dr. Banty story, Dr. Banty's Narrow Escape. And um, Lacey said to me, I want a silky Banty. I want a silky Banty. And of course, we live in a flat. We can't have a silky Banty. Well, can I have a cuddly Banty then? And I looked everywhere for a, a cuddly Bantam rooster. And the only one we could find was from the very exclusive German firm, Hansa. And well, you know what those things, or perhaps you don't, but they are not cheap. But Lacey and Daddy. So on Christmas morning, she opened this. And she burst out crying in delight. Actually, you'll have heard it on Sunday if you're a Lacey fan. So, it was just so cool. It was just amazing and wonderful. And yeah, you can have him back now. You can have him back. He, just to describe to people who can't see him, he's incredibly soft. He would be, I don't know, what, what would you say, about 10 inches tall, something like that. He's life size, I would say. He's very, very soft and very, very fluffy. He has the red coxcomb on his head. He's not white all over. That's how I would imagine a Dr. Banter to be, but he isn't white all over. He can't have everything. He does have the red Cock, doctor's hat coxcomb and he has um, a white doctor's coat the white fluff on his neck and back and right down to his tail that's all white then he has light grey wings and a dark brown chest and body um, and um, creamy yellow legs and feet and he's just amazing he's so soft and so gorgeous there you go. You can have him back now. There you are, my love. And she hasn't let him go since the minute she had him. There he is in her arms. Is that the right way? That's right. So that was Lacey's presence. Now, um, I'll just quickly show you what Bert got because it's going on a bit long. But I just wanted to show you. Let's see what Bert got. Right, well... Did Bert get what he's been going on about for so long? Yes, he did. Just look at that. Aren't those the most amazing boots you've ever seen? Because <laughs> they certainly are the most amazing boots I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, aren't they brilliant? I can't wait to put them on him. I wanted you to see them as they came. So I've, to his fury, I've made him leave them in the box until you saw them. But aren't they fab? They are chestnut brown, uh, su suede lined with sheepskin. They're fabulous. Let's put this back. And I've also got something else which I can show you straight away. So I've got it right here. And of course, I can't get it back in now. I wouldn't believe it. I'll show you straight away. I've got this, which is a little Ralph Lauren outfit. Can you see? Mm -hmm. It is um, blue tour tra trousers and a red and white checked shirt which is a really gorgeous little outfit which i can now hang up and get pristine for him to put on so i think they got thoroughly spoiled and i hope you like all their presents and that is my christmas present haul my word oh it was lovely showing you what the children got for christmas i'm really hoping that you enjoyed it too i will be back tomorrow in the meantime Take care of yourselves and enjoy your babies and let's be good to each other. Bye bye.